How are you? This is another video example that's going to help you with some of your Khan Academy work. Specifically, this video example is going to focus on the second assignment in our first unit. That's the circumference of a circle assignment. So before we get started looking at a couple of those examples about circumference of a circle, which we'll see here, I'm going to take a look on my whiteboard to talk about a few key vocabulary terms or math ideas that will help you with circumference. When we talk about a circle, as we said earlier in the first lesson, the radius, or r, measures the distance halfway across a circle from the middle to the edge of the circle. The diameter, or d, measures the distance from one edge of the circle through the middle all the way to the opposite edge. The distance all the way across the circle is the diameter. And circumference is a term that represents the perimeter of a circle or the distance all the way around the edge, the outer edge of a circle. That's what circumference stands for. And pi, which you were introduced to last year, is related to circumference. Pi, which we can use as an estimate to say it's about equal to 3.14. You remember it goes a lot further than that, but we're going to be using 3.14 for pi most of the time. If you take that 3.14 number, pi, and you multiply by the diameter, the distance all the way across the circle, that tells you the circumference, the distance of the perimeter for the circle, or the distance around the outer edge. I've written another formula here. If the circumference is equal to pi times diameter, and diameter is the same thing as 2 times radius, then we could also have a formula that's better for radius and circumference which says if you double radius, 2 times radius, at that point you'll have diameter. Then you multiply by pi, and it's also equal to circumference. So I like to use both of these formulas depending on whether I'm given the diameter or the radius. For our first example, we're going to take a look at one of the pictures that provides a circle. This first example here asks us, we'll use this one over here. It says, what is the circumference of the following circle? If we zoom in a little bit, we can see that that circle has 9 centimeters all the way across the edge, or all the way across the middle. So I'm going to redraw that circle. It's 9 centimeters all the way across. And they ask, what is the circumference for this circle? So the first thing I should recognize, oh, now you can see that circle, sorry about that. For this circle that has 9 centimeters across, that 9 centimeters represents diameter. So I'm going to take that 9 and plug it in. Since I know the diameter, I'm going to use the formula that says circumference equals pi, which we use 3.14 to represent pi now. And we multiply that by the diameter, which is going to be 9 in this case. So for that example we're looking at, if I did 3.14 times 9, which gets me to 28.26 when I'm using a calculator, 3.14 times 9 gave me 28. 0.26. So 28.26 centimeters is going to be the circumference for that circle that we're looking at right up there that has 9 centimeters as a size for the diameter. So 9 centimeter diameter, plug that into pi times diameter, that gives me a circumference of 28.26 centimeters. We're going to look at one more example with a circle. We'll make the whiteboard smaller for a second again take one more look at another example. So if we look down here, I'm going to take a look at this problem here. It says, what is the circumference for the following circle? So that circle that I've highlighted here, I'm going to make the whiteboard larger again. It says, what is the circumference for that circle? So I'm going to draw that circle here. From the middle out to the edge for that circle, let me replicate the way they had it. From the middle out to the edge, it is 5 units long. That 5 represents the radius. So the key to see for this problem that I'm highlighting here, if they give me a radius of 5, I have two options. I could turn that radius into diameter, which is 10, and plug it into this formula. Or I could plug it into the radius formula for circumference, pi times 2 times 5, and that's the same effect. 2 times radius, or 2 pi r, is going to multiply the radius by 2 to turn it into a diameter. So the circumference is going to be equal to pi, 
multiplied with 10 for this example. If the radius is 5, we plug it into our formula, it turns the diameter to 10. 10 times 3.14, I actually don't need a calculator for that, I just move the decimal one place to the right anytime I multiply by 10. So the circumference for that example that I've highlighted right here, right above up there, is going to be 31.4 units. That's what you'd be typing in for an answer here, 31.4 units. We're going to show two more examples. The challenge, I think, and a little backwards for Khan Academy, they gave you what I view as the tougher problems in the beginning. They provide you with the circumference in the beginning, like this example I'm looking at, and ask you to find a radius or diameter. So for these problems, when they provide me with the circumference and ask me to work out the diameter or the radius for the circle, I'm still going to use these formulas but because I'm plugging in circumference, I'm going to end up dividing by pi instead of multiplying by pi to work out my answers here. So the first example we're going to take a look at, we're going to look at one of the ones that asks for diameter. This example that I'm going to highlight, I'll move the whiteboard over, says a circle has a circumference of 28.26 units. So the circle's circumference is 28.26 units. And they want to know, as I'll put on the whiteboard here, what is the diameter for that circumference of 28.26? So circumference C is equal to 28.26. How am I going to work out the diameter? That's what this problem is asking me. I'm going to take that 28.26, and I'm going to plug it into the formula for circumference. 28.26 replaces C. So I know 28.26 is equal to pi times diameter. I'm going to switch that pi over to 3.14. And if I use 3.14 for pi, when I divide both sides by 3.14, because that's how I get this variable all by itself, Twenty-eight point two six, and using calculators is totally okay. Divided by three point one four leaves us with a diameter of nine, and that should make sense. Nine times three is twenty-seven, so nine times three point one four diameter times pi gives us a diameter a little bigger than twenty-seven. In this case, twenty-eight point two six. So that's how I worked out the diameter for that circle. To find diameter for a circle, if they give me circumference, I do circumference divided by pi, and that equals the diameter. We're going to do one last example because they do have some where they give you circumference and ask you for the radius. So the last example we're going to show, I'm going to highlight here, it says a circle has a circumference of 1017.36 units and they ask us what is the radius for that circle. So here, since they're asking me for radius, I'm going to actually use the circumference equals pi times 2 times radius equation. You could use the diameter equation then just divide your final diameter by 2. This is going to have pretty much the same effect. So here, I'm going to make the whiteboard a little bit larger to see. Here, the circumference is 1017.36, and that's going to be equal to pi times 2 times the radius. I'm going to switch pi over to 3.14 at this point, and I'm going to multiply that 3.14 by 2. 3.14 times 2, if 3 times 2 is 6, this is a little bigger than 6. In this case, I get 6.28. If I double 14, I'm at 28. And I double 3, I'm at 6. So 6.28 times the radius has to be equal to the circumference, which in this case was 1017.36. As you hopefully remember with Mr. Neville last year, if I have these equations and I'm solving for radius, I'm trying to get that variable by itself. I'm going to peel the onion or use the inverse operation of division here to cancel out that multiplication of 6.28. So when I do 1017.36, 
divided by 6.28, which was doubling pi. I get an answer of 162. So that tells me if the radius were 162 and I multiplied that by pi and I multiplied it by 2, it would spit out a, ra a total circumference for that radius of 1017.36. So again, summarizing to go from circumference to radius, what we end up doing is we take the circumference and we divide it by double the radius or divide it by 6.28 in this case. If you have questions for this assignment, feel free to email me, feel free to reach out to classmates, feel free to watch Sal Khan's videos to help you further. Thanks for watching.